Let's take a look at creating forms. Forms can be used in different ways, but they are something that you can send out to customers to collect information. To find forms, click on to More, and then Forms. This brings us to the form screen. You can see that I already have one form created, but to create a new form, let's click the plus button. We have a few pre-designed forms that you can choose from or create your own, but let's take a look at this new client form. The form is already pre-populated with some questions, but all of this is editable. You can click and uncheck fields that you don't need, and there's a section here for look and feel. This gives us an option to choose a color that we'd like to use for the form. If we go back, we can click and edit most of the items on the form. If there's a whole section that you'd like to delete, click on the section and then hit the garbage can icon. If there's anything that you'd like to add to the form, you can do so. On the left hand side of the screen, grab one of the elements and pull it over into the form. Another way to add an element to the form is by going to the bottom of the form and then clicking add element. The box that I've added in, I would like to ask a question, so I can just go ahead and type it. If we go to the top of the form, there's an option to preview what the form will look like. This gives you a preview of what the form will look like before you send it out. And we can toggle back and forth to see what the form will look like on a computer or a phone. Okay, so I'll click Edit Form to go back. And one thing I want to do is add a logo to the form. So if we go back into look and feel, I'll click the option here on the left and select the image I want to use. All right, so we're ready to continue. Now we can select when the form should be sent out. It defaults to saying that the form is not required. Since I want to send this form out to new customers, I will select the option to require the form only for the first time an appointment is booked. There's some other options here for when to send the form out, so choose which one works best for you. We could activate the form now, but before we do, I want to show you one more thing. At the bottom of the menu here, we have an option to require the form based on the service type. If we click the checkbox, we can set this to work with individual services or service categories. I don't actually want to use this, so I'll uncheck the options that I've clicked. But this option is something to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm all set, so I'll click Activate Form. Our form is now turned on, and we can see it in the list here. If you wanted to make changes to the form, you could click onto it and open it back up. You can also grab the embedded code or the link to the form by using the two options here. You can grab the link and email it or text it out to a customer if you needed to. And at the bottom of the form, you have options to either delete the form or duplicate it.